They call him the walking fool. I am attempting to walk from uh, Jersey to California. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do the uh, ceremonial, put my hands in the Atlantic Ocean, clean them up, and then I don't wash my hands again until I hit the Pacific. Do you know why camping is so stressful? It's hot as hell in here, man. I'm sweating my ass off. Why is camping so stressful? It's intense. I'm Mark, the walking fool. The walking fool. Yeah. Okay. So did your day go well? No, no. He took, he took my gun. <laughs> Stole my shotgun. Yeah. Everybody was in the tree. <laughs> I've died twice already. Did anyone try to have sex with the tree? Uh, I don't know. I probably tried. <laughs> <laughs> You body, not my body. My body? My body will kill you, body, in a second. The Indiana State Line. Going into Wisconsin. Mark, thanks for inspiring all of us. Yes. Right, this dog does not look friendly. Okay, just got f***ing stung by a bee. Come in. I'm in some serious trouble, man. Oh! I'm in some serious trouble. <laughs> you inspired me not to walk across the country. <laughs> oh. Wow! That's my message. <laughs> Don't do this. Walking hard. I was basically in a uh, a really bad job where I was uh, just working at a computer every single day. I was feeling the computer was sucking my energy out of me. And then one day I got actually locked out of the building and so I had nothing to do. So just to kill some time I went for a walk. The next thing I know I was in the next town over. I mean it's Westchester so they're very close together. But um, I, was like, I was like, wow that's cool. I walked from one town to the other. I said, hey, it would be kind of cool if I just walked across the country. I just, I don't know. and then at that point I'm like, never knew whether anyone had done it before. I didn't know anything. I thought everyone was going to be totally against me doing it. I thought everyone was going to say, Mark, you're crazy. But um, I figured, well, what the hell, let's, let's try it. I hate my job. Well, I, I had a public access show. They, they let me, uh, you know, put anything I want on, on TV. So I said, well, I have to have a I, I have to have a video camera wherever I go. I, it's my uh, it's a um, what it's like a social uh, anxiety I have. If I don't have a camera, I can't interact with people. It's sort of like a defense mechanism, you know. It's like if I can't if I get uncomfortable in a situation, I just pull out the camera and I document it. I don't know why I brought the camera. I just thought that no one I, I didn't think anyone else ever brought a camera with them on a long hike. So I thought, well, this is something that could be different. Okay, so it's about the first uh, 15 minutes of my walk. And uh, I'm walking along the uh, Jersey Shore here. And then uh, going south a little bit. And then when I hit the sea bright, I'm going to make a, uh, a right-hand turn which will head me uh, west. But I'm already, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm already a little bit nervous uh, that uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Um, just already, the monotony is already getting to me and I'm about, uh, oh, at least 15 minutes into my walk. No, no, yeah, about 15. <laughs> it's the first night in the tent. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm uh, in Jersey, of course, and I'm about only a, only a few uh, few feet away, probably about 50 feet away from a uh, uh, road highway. It's uh, 6:15 in the morning. It's getting kind of light, so I actually slept here. Slept in Jersey. And uh, I think this walk is going to turn into a uh, walk across Jersey, maybe. 
Uh, so I feel like if I don't make it at least across Jersey, I think people will think I'm a real, not just not just a loser, but just I, wouldn't, I wasn't even trying. But I'm trying, you know, I really am trying. I, you know, hell, I wanted to go home on the first day. So we got a little problem coming here. I, I knew that I had to take this sort of a smaller road to get across to this town I want to get to. And then I, I, I noticed that there are all these signs saying detour bridge out. And in this, in this river, it doesn't have any rocks that I could sort of hop from one to the other. But I really don't like the idea of backtracking. And I like the idea of sort of just going through the woods. My second, uh, my second Starbucks stop on my trip so far. Get the, uh, the hot tea. We have a tea. You all scraped up. Yeah, well, you know, through the woods, you get scraped up a little bit in the woods. Uh, I'll be okay. I'll survive. I'm walking very slow because I'm in super duper pain. It's not like just like, God damn. I am an idiot. This was just the stupidest idea I ever had. Even getting across Jersey. Well, at least gonna make it across Jersey. So by the time I hit basically the middle of Pennsylvania, I sort of realized that, well, I'm actually really am walking. I was like, oh, I am walking. And uh, so at that point I sort of realized, I don't know how far I'm gonna go, but I know I'm actually gonna end up walking something semi-impressive. So at that point I was sort of less thinking about me walking as I was before, and I was more focused on trying to actually produce a funny show. Because you're like, you're trying to walk, you know, 20, 25 miles, but then also you're trying to find interesting locations, try to meet interesting people, and then actually try to edit the show too, which is hard. Um, because all I had was I had two cameras and I was editing uh, the show using two cameras. I'd go to like a Burger King or a McDonald's or something and I would sort of, you know, just sort of set up my little editing studio at one of the tables there, trying to, you know, put a real funny, slick show together. You know, about as slick as you can get. You know, it's public access, so you really can't get too slick, but, you know. Wolfers Cream King. What I like the best about this line is that, you know, it's got drinks, it has sandwiches, but the one in the middle, that needs no explanation. That's the one in the middle, that just sort of speaks for itself. About three or four people drive by trying to scream something at me. Something derogatory because they're driving by at 60 miles an hour so all, all I hear is eh! you see Doppler effect kids the Pennsylvania porcupine senses my presence he stops very still now moves again and here we are at the Penns Valley uh, meat market we make fresh hoagies and right below we have we have smoked pet bones now, I don't know what smoked pet bones are, but it really does not make me want to have one of their hoagies. Alright, I want to I rock my world. Alright, I want to rock my world. What? I want to rock my world. Okay. You don't know what that means? Nope. Around the earthquake. You like to rock your world with a brownie uh, sundae? Okay. I'd rather have a blizzard. A blizzard, that's it? Yep, a small one. Uh, that's Sure, you don't want to rock your world? Okay. Okay, maybe later. Alright. So I'm taking uh, one more break. So what I decided to do is I decided to lay down like this. Relax a little, my feet, you know. Well, I had. A woman stop and go, are you okay? And I go, yes. There we go. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh-oh, it's the cops. Hey, how you doing? All right. What are you up to? I'm just taking a break. 
Got about eight calls of somebody dead on the side of the road. I, you know, I don't know what it was. I was just sort of sitting here lying and just sort of relaxing and then... Uh, Where are you from? I'm actually from New York. New York? What yeah. are you doing? Just hiking down I'm, here? I'm, I'm hiking to New Hope. Yeah. But uh, I'll probably be taking off soon anyway. You're not wanted from any place or anything, are you? Am I what? Wanted from any place? You got any ID on you at all? Uh, Just anything that has your name so I can yeah. write it down? Okay, that's fine. Mark Phillips. That's a nice picture. Thank you. <laughs> no, okay, there, thanks, Mark. Nice meeting you. Now my name's through the system. Damn it. I just want to get some ID. That's okay, Mark Phillips. Hey, nice picture. Are you wanted or anything? There we go, we got the uh, Chicago skyline behind me. It's at 2.45. Mark, the uh, walking guy, joins us yeah. now. Hey Mark, how are you? Oh, I'm hurting. Because I don't, I don't have a map of the Chicago area. I have a map of Illinois. For Chicago, you know, not much detail of Chicago. But then I look, I, I drew, I drew a map. <laughs> I do a map of my own design. But you're just doing this. You're just doing this by yourself. Yeah, I'm just by myself. I'm just. just you, being you, the... you, you, you don't have a girlfriend, do you, Mark? <laughs> I uh, I like women. <laughs> <laughs> uh... By the way, it's hot and humid out. The sun's out. Right now the humidity is at uh, 218 percent. Is that high? I don't know. Just being from a friendly area, every 10, 10 or 15 minutes, uh, you know, you, you gotta go. Uh, hi, hi, how you doing? Hi. 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 Hello. How you doing? Fine. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. 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 How you doing? Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Uh, we got the spam museum right here. Put a few strips of spam on top of a tossed green salad. It looks mighty tempting and tastes terrific. Spam is my favorite of the potted meats. Oh well, yeah. I, yeah. As far as uh, canned meats go, yeah. Anything else in the mall that I should see? This isn't much of a mall compared to most malls. Do you have any frames that look like spam? Oh no, we don't. We don't. Um, I like to like put my face on a can of spam. Okay. Um, Do you ever want any spam stuff? At home, I got some stuff. Yeah. Banks and stuff like that. Yeah, spam bank. Yeah. yeah. Do you put money in it, or you just put spam in it? No, I. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can you make a uh, a burrito, but instead of uh, beef, you put spam in it? Yes, I can make it with spam. much right outside of uh, Austin, uh, Minnesota, that thing started going downhill. I was, um, I, w I knew something was happening. What exactly it was, I wasn't sure. But I was really getting the sense that I couldn't do what I was doing much longer. I'm on a strip uh, of road that is uh, uh, supposedly it's about uh, 27 miles uh, in between towns, uh, and I already have probably about uh, about 10, 10 to 12 uh, mosquito bites. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm thinking about quitting. I know you've heard that song and dance before, but uh, uh, it seems like a very realistic thing. I'm gonna make it to South Dakota. I'm gonna walk to South Dakota. All right, but when I get there. You do some investing, investigating, see how much it costs to uh, get fucking back to New York. Fucking swarming, man. There's fucking eight billion fucking zillion fucking goddamn fucking mosquitoes, man. This fucking spray does fucking zero. Zero. Good fucking lord. God fucking damn it. What the fucking lord. Jesus. Right. The bugs will not leave me alone.
when I started this walk, I thought maybe I'd be able to, you know, figure stuff out about me and, and my life and stuff, you know. And uh, believe it or not, just, you know, spending, you know, three months by myself, um, I really haven't actually come up with very much. This is all just, you know, whatever. Edit all this out, doesn't matter. Um, I realized that um, this, is, this, this walk was basically all about, you know, very selfish things about me, uh, uh, people sort of focusing their attention on me, and uh, I, I, I realized that, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not a person about uh, physical challenges, you know. I can, I can do certain physical challenges, and I accept them, but uh, that's not really what I'm, I'm about. That's why I'm stopping to walk, because, um, you know, uh, these long strips, well, whatever. Because I'm, you know, because I, you know, I can't finish things. And, uh, and I don't really have a desire to finish. So why, you know, I don't know why. Uh... You're gonna go back out walking, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. Is it pretty bad out? Huh? Looks very human, it looks very human. Really human. Yeah, I know. Four years later, I'm back in the city. I walked, I made it to South Dakota. Quit after that. And then I, uh, I'm back here and I'm again doing a crappy job where I'm sitting in front of a computer for eight to 12 hours a day. And, um, and my, I felt my life force being sucked out again. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> to be uh, overly dramatic. So then I uh, have come to a conclusion that I'm going to do the walk across the country again and I'm going to make it. I may have to try several, several times, but before I die, I'm going to walk from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Here we go again.